Hello guys, Brad here again with another fragrance review. Today I want to look at a fragrance from a house that I haven't talked about yet, from the house of Karen. This one is called Yuzu Man, Goudé Toilette. And this is the inside of the card. Um, this fragrance came out in 2011 and is classified as a citrus aromatic. The notes, we have yuzu, verbena, Indonesian basil, mastic, fig, cedar, and sandalwood. Base notes, we have two positives, eight neutrals, two negatives. Now, when I first heard about this fragrance, I think uh, where I saw this fragrance first of all was uh, I was over at a website called fragranceviles.com trying to check out uh, some samples that I might be interested in uh, buying for sampling and uh, I came across this one and it looked kind of interesting now I think a lot of people when they think about yuzu the first fragrance that pops into their head is of course Isi Miyake's Le De Se. and uh, I have to say that this fragrance did not remind me of that one at all um, if you look at the note breakdown, it has fig listed, and really it's that fig note that really seems to stand out the most on my skin. Uh, so I do get a sweet fig, and perhaps in the background maybe some yuzu and verbena to give it a little bit of like a leafy, floral, lemon vibe as well. But I think really it's that sweet fig that is the most uh, prominent and easy to detect note. Uh, in this fragrance. So think along the lines of other fig type fragrances like Diptyque's Velocicose, Marc Jacobs for Men, and Fico de Amalfi from um, Aqua de Parma. Um, I do enjoy this fragrance. I've worn it to work a few times. Uh, my biggest gripe here is that it just doesn't seem to be very potent or strong. I put this one on and probably within about 30 minutes it really doesn't have much usefulness left to it um, I haven't really gotten any feedback at all wearing this fragrance either um, and I would probably say that because of the strong fig note in this fragrance I would probably lean more towards Mark Jacobs for men if I were to buy a fragrance with a fig smell to it because I think that one is a little bit denser and uh, probably more potent overall but this one certainly is pretty nice uh, if you like the transparent uh, sort of like a body mist kind of effect on a fragrance perhaps on a hot day outside this would perform a little bit better um, and I also think it's kind of unisex as well I could picture um, somebody's girlfriend or uh, wife really taking a shine to this one as well because of that sort of like body mist feel to it in that sweetness comes across as really natural and part of the fig itself and not like an additive like amber or vanilla so uh, yeah I liked it I just wish it performed a little bit better so let me get into some scores here the smell I'll give it 8 out of 10 really if I uh, performed better it would probably be bottle worthy uh, projection longevity 5 out of 10 uh, really close to the skin after about 30 minutes but uh, yeah, it probably does last as a skin scent for several hours. Versatility, I think this could be a really easy to reach for spring and summer fragrance because uh, I think it is pleasant and I can't really imagine anybody being offended by it, although many people will have a hard time detecting it. Uh, uniqueness, 6.5 out of 10. Even though I think yuzu in and of itself is a rather um, unique note, I think the fig really takes over here and it puts it in the same category as a lot of other fig scents. So uniqueness really isn't that good here. Six and a half. Now the price point is pretty impressive here. I've seen uh, 4.2 ounce bottles selling for $34.55. So that is like amazing. I think it, the fragrance net has, has this one. So uh, yeah, if you're looking to buy a really cheap summer spring fragrance uh check out this one 10 out of 10 for price but overall i'll give this one seven and a half a big uh, deduction for performance but smell and price point are outstanding here 
so definitely, if you like figs, if you like yuzu, you know, something kind of Mediterranean, but kind of light, airy, and something like that, uh, check out Yuzu Man by Karen. So thanks for watching, and I will talk to you guys later.